Hello everybody, Ministerum here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Online Shadowbringers. In the last episode, we went to uh, take care of our business with the kobolds, where we were able to draw out the high priest and then work to disable him and his entourage, uh, and then kind of de, uh, de-temper, I guess we might call it, the High Priest, so that we can at least have an intelligent conversation with him. And after kind of, you know, revealing what he's been doing while tempered and, you know, expressing some contrition at that, um, it allowed Merlwib to present her proposal, which is the renewed peace treaty between the Kobolds and the Lamincins, with revised terms, a trade deal, a whole bunch of things to try to, you know, make the peace process start moving. And uh, they really weren't having any of it because, well, they had been screwed before by the previous one and really weren't about to be screwed again. Um, so there was a very serious lack of trust. Understandable. But uh, with some help from Gabu, um, who kind of spoke on our behalf, it uh, eventually led to the High Priest agreeing to give it a try. You know, to, uh, to give it another go and, uh, you know, agree to the treaty. And so, that's good. There's still a lot of work there to do, but, you know, at least it's a start. And then coming out of that, we ran straight into the next crisis, which is a whole bunch of strange towers started appearing everywhere. And uh, when we started investigating over in Alamigo, um, the new Asian problem has appeared in the form of Fan Daniel. And uh, he wants to kill everyone, including himself, and destroy the world. At least that's what he says anyway. We'll see. We'll see how that actually goes. Um, and so, yeah. He is now a problem with his new pet, Lunar Bahamut. And that has brought to a finish all of the available main story quests that we have in the current... Uh, the, the game currently. The next major patch is going to release more story content is patch 5.5, .5, which is currently scheduled to release i think in mid-april april 13th if i recall correctly from the announcement showcase and then that will lead us into the next expansion 6.0 uh dubbed endwalker so yeah that should be interesting all right, so we have some other things that I would like to do. We need to finish up the Eden Raid storyline because we've done two-thirds of it. We now have the remaining uh, set of battles to go through for that. We finish up that storyline. And, uh, yeah... Go ahead and get to work on that today. Not sure how far we're actually going to get through that, but I would like to at least advance up to the point where we have to go in and actually do the uh, the first of the battles that we're going to have to go through uh, for that. And I believe that quest is back in Amarang, Mord Souk. Well, let's head on over there and uh, get that started. Now, the thing is, is that the Scions are all back home. So we won't have Orange and Thancred's assistance here. So it's just going to be us and Reen and Gaia, I would assume. And uh, Yulfert, I believe, is the one we talked to. We've been coordinating with. Empty promise. Yelford is so engrossed in a slip of paper in his hands he that he barely notices your approach. Do n try to not to startle him. Do try to startle him? No, do try not to startle him. Yummy. So the rumors of your knack for being in the right place at the right time are true, you see. 
We have just completed our preparations for another expedition into the empty. Miss Reen and Miss Gaia agree that it's high time you all went to see how things are coming along. Though I must say, being at their beck and call might, uh, night and day does test my patience on occasion. Well, well, fancy seeing you here. But who's this? Ah, both of them. Yummy. We were just getting ready for another ride on the Sky Slipper. Care to join us? There was one other thing I should mention before you depart. Now that the situation in Yulmore has settled down somewhat, my associates have made some headway in investigating your past, Miss Gaia. Is that so? Hmm? I thought that's what you wanted. So did I, but I quite like the way things are now. Digging around in my past might, I don't know, spoil it somehow. Besides, uncovering the truth behind the voice in my head and my strange powers is bound to be more interesting than whatever life I was... It was I had in Yulemore. I understand. We'll find answers together, just like we do everything else. Uh, how were the coffee biscuits? Oh, they were delicious, as always, but I hear they're quite fattening, so we usually just buy one and have half each. And then you always get another one anyway. Yes, but we break that in half, too, so it's fine. <laughs> um, one half plus one half equals one whole. We may as well want to eat to begin with, honestly, Reen. I sometimes wonder if you've got biscuits for brains. Though I must say, my time in the Crystarium has been rather enjoyable. We even had a chance to make a necklace from the ice crystal we found. And in case you were wondering, I haven't been neglecting my training. I wouldn't want my skills to get rusty, rusty just because Thancred's not around. I'm ready for whatever lies ahead. Orianger would also be pleased to hear you've had your head in those fusty old tomes. I've even done a bit of studying myself. After all, it's up to us to take care of the empty now. I'm looking forward to seeing how things have changed since our last visit. Come on, let's head over to the Derrick. All right, then. So we'll head on over to the Derrick. Which is way down south, if I recall correctly. All right, well, I'll head on over there. Be back in a sec. All right, here we are. Now we'll talk to Reen. I don't suppose you fancy taking the helm this time. Wait, I'll pot it this time. Oh, I didn't realize you knew how. While you were off training, I was practicing with another sky, slip, sky slipper they have at the Crystarium. Really? That's fantastic. Hardly, you've been pulling more than your own weight, and I just wanted to do what I can to contribute more. So you two can sit back, relax, and leave it to me. Alright. So now we need to just turn this in and head on over. Alright. There's no need to look so apprehensive, you know. Let's get going, shall we? Uh, I guess I'll take the... Uh, Ill speed? Ill speed.
So strange suddenly seeing you at the controls. Why didn't you tell me you've been practicing? I thought I'd surprise you, that's all. Well, consider me surprised. All this time, I thought you were only good for smashing things with your hammer. <laughs> Bring that up again and you can walk the rest of the way. <laughs> I best behave. I wouldn't want to get stranded in the empty and miss the festival. Festival? Ah, oh, I suppose this is the first you would have heard of it. We haven't exactly been keeping it a secret, but it's still in the planning stages. Uh, you see, the return of the night sky has brought lots of changes, and while everyone is glad, the reality has also been quite stressful, having to adapt to a new way of life. Seeing how hard our elders are working to keep the Crystarium running, yous like myself came up with the idea of hosting an event as a way of expressing our appreciation. Once we return for the empty, I'll be helping as one of the organizers. I'd be happy to help, provided I'm suitably compensated. Sure. I'd like to get paid, after all. I doubt we could afford the services of a great hero such as you, but thanks for offering. If everything goes well, all you need to do is turn up and enjoy yourself. How about you, Gaia? Would you like to help with this festival? Well, what's that? I uh, haven't been listening. Ah, my leg is cramping up a bit. Piloting this thing must have made me more tense than I'd realized. Then let one of us take over. I'm sure I could drive it. I mean, I pilot a mech. No. I'll be fine. Can't be that hard. As long as you're sure, but if you feel like switching places, just say the word. No, how can this be? Yeah, that doesn't look great last we saw this it was all nice and green but it doesn't look so good right now I think that explains it It's quite bright. Mm, light. Does this mean there's still too much of it in the empty? Mm, I'm no expert, but this might be the result of losing control when you restored the ice element. Even though I tried to use darkness to hold back the light spilling forth, it seems it wasn't enough. Then we're right back to where we started. This is all my fault. No, Green, you mustn't blame yourself. Uh -huh. You have returned to me. Restore the darkness while you still can. A familiar voice, an inescapable, an inescapable fate. The promise of salvation at the precipice of ruin. In the remnants of the lost past, I would find my truth. This is Gaia narrating, I guess. All right. Well, let's see what we can come up with here. Gaia appears to be conversing with the voice inside her head. Yeah, the f the quote unquote fairy. Restore darkness. 
What did you say, Gaia? Restore the darkness to the world flooded by light. Ah, that's it. We thought we restored balance to the six elements. Perhaps they're still too strongly aligned with light. If that's the case, maybe we can set things right by using darkness. By using darkness? Are you serious? Well, hold on. It might actually work. Gaia, yeah, that's a brilliant idea. I, I wouldn't go that far. I just remembered what I learned during our adventures, that's all. But this does mean we'll need to call on your services again, if that's all right with you. We've come this far together, and we'll see our mission to the end, to Eden's core. So we're going to need to summon an avatar of darkness. And then kill it. Alright. Sounds like a plan. Right, let's get started. But, hmm. Were there any primals aligned with darkness? I can't seem to recall any. Not exactly. You mean there isn't one? The Asian's gone zodiac may be suitable, but we need something that Yame has actually encountered and preferably defeated. Well, does it have to be a primal for it to work? It, if it's just a lot of darkness that we need, perhaps there are other ways to get it. Maybe right. What we ultimately need is a state of highly charged darkness. It shouldn't matter what form it takes. Does anything come to mind, Ayami? I know a few void scent they would fit the bill. Indeed. The Void is basically a shard that's overwhelmed by darkness. And I think we've actually been there once, if I recall correctly. The creatures I unleashed while under the fairy's control. If we were able to summon one powerful enough, it just might work. The Cloud of Darkness? I can't begin to imagine how powerful it must have been. Yes, the Cloud of Darkness from the Crystal Tower storyline. I say we found the perfect candidate. But where to find a suitable place? One where darkness is strong. It won't be easy in a world flooded by light. Well, we've got the Warrior of Darkness and the Oracle of Darkness right here. It seems like a good enough spot to me. But what about the light-aligned ether that's all around us? That's where you come in. If you can suppress the light while I draw the darkness, by combining our powers, we can make it work wherever we are. Combining our powers. Yes, between us, there's nothing we can't achieve. Don't be afraid, Gaia. She's the one who suggested it. I'm not afraid, just very concerned that this will go hor all go horribly wrong. Which is the same thing, I suppose. Anyway, it's certainly not easy coming up with these plans by ourselves. That's true, but when this is over, we can reward ourselves with all sorts of delicious treats at the festival. Uh, festival? What do you mean? You spoke about it on the way here, remember? I asked if you wanted to take part. Um, I was busy piloting the Sky Slipper, so I probably wasn't paying attention. Oh well, not to worry. We can talk about that later. Right now I've got a job to do.
I'll draw out the ambient ether. And I'll shift its alignment to darkness. Now, Yame, focus your thoughts. Memories of the Cloud of Darkness and Shroud Your Mind. All right, Heden's Promise Umbra is now available. All right, so I need to see if it's, we're gonna try this today. I think what we're gonna do here is we're gonna stop for this episode. It's a little bit short, but I'm not sure I'm gonna have time to both search for a group and run the fight. So what we'll do is we'll do that uh, for next episode. We'll search for group, run through the fight, and then uh, go through the post-battle events uh, and see how that goes. All right, so at least, you know, we've got started here. So for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.